Hey there guys, so, so far this week, you know, bench press and mucking around with, you know, a few of the stone squats and the rest of it. Now, bench press on Monday didn't exactly go to plan. I got six reps at 200 kilos and ideally um, I was hoping to hit a, you know, set of eight. Now, when I got onto the weight, things just didn't quite feel right. Um, had a fair bit of elbow pain, but in both elbows, and that was just caused by going really heavy with the dumbbell pullovers for the last two weeks. Just my elbows haven't really liked it, so um, I'm going to have to drop that exercise for a little bit and then, you know, work my way back up. But, um, you know, I decided after the top set, you know, I'm going to have to back it off a fair bit and loaded 143 kilos to the bar, which is 316 pounds. Sorry, it was 143 and a half. So yeah, 316 pounds and knocked out a set of 20 really quite comfortably. Um, waited seven minutes and then loaded the bar to 150 kilos. And I think I got 17 reps from memory. We'll find out in this video. Um, because after this clip is when I hit the 150. Now, when you have, you know, shoulder pain or elbow pain on bench press, some people, you know, can take the smart approach and can take a step back from training and other people will really struggle with it. So for me, you know, in terms of, you know, managing injuries, you know, it's listen to the body. The top set didn't feel, I wouldn't say it felt terrible, but you know, after doing the set and then missing a few reps, it was sort of like, okay, something's not quite right. I waited a few minutes, you know, contemplated doing another set, and it's like, nah, it, something just feels off. So that's when I decide, you know, to, to drop the weight. Now, in terms of managing this, you know, long term, you know, for me, I'd probably just work out to one heavy top set and see how it feels if it's if next week you know my elbows still feel weird or it's not improving then I would consider you know deloading um you know bench pressing 140 and 150 kilos there was no discomfort in the elbow joint whatsoever so obviously you know whatever I've done is nothing you know major at all and it doesn't give me any you know discomfort when pressing overhead it's just the load you shift on bench press is going to be far more than what you're going to press overhead or any other sort of upper body, you know, pushing movement. So, um, yeah, you know, you just need to be smart about it. So, um, yeah, that was sort of, you know, my bench press session as a whole. And then I ended up finishing it off with um, four sets of 10 of actually front squats just at 100 kilos. Mucked around with a bit of, um, you know, technique. And it was just there to get a little bit more general volume, you know, into my training um front squats the last you know last week didn't exactly go to plan um it was a busy week and you know the training volume had sort of dropped off on that particular movement so i need to start bringing you know more volume back into it um especially you know from a technique standpoint so that i can bring the speed of the movement up um and then yesterday, you know, being Tuesday, I do the non-negotiable 20 rep stone squats. So, you know, a few people ask me, how do I warm up for these? Well, there's a, a lighter stone that I have. I just pick it up, you know, knock out a set of 10 squats, you know, wait a few minutes and that's pretty much my warm up done. Um, when you go, you know, higher rep around the, the 20 rep range, the amount of warm-up you need isn't significant simply because, you know, the weight that you're handling in terms of, you know, percentage of 1RM is definitely on the lower side. So, you know, injury or getting injured isn't exactly high on the list. You know, you still need to warm up, but it's nothing like, you know, preparing for, you know, a one rep max on, you know, a squat, a bench or a deadlift. So, um, yeah, you know, just pick up the lighter stone, as I said, knock out a set of 10, wait, you know, five to seven minutes and then, you know, pick up the, the biggest stone that I plan on using and knock out a set of 20. Um, and typically after that, you know, I do a few sets of pull-ups. So yeah, look, the elbows, as I said on Monday, weren't feeling great. When I went to do the, the pull-ups again, you know, something just, it just doesn't feel right now in the biceps. Um, 
no serious, you know, pain or whatever. It's just discomfort, like I've slightly strained something. And, you know, that happens from time to time, um, especially when I push certain exercises and the exercises that have been pushing at the moment pretty hard are the dumbbell pullovers. Um, in previous years, if I do that, you know, sometimes it aggravates my elbow joint. So yeah, look, you know, it's on both elbows. So it's, it's pretty easy to, to narrow down who the culprit was. Um, and then after the pull-ups, I went and did the, uh, what do you call it? The shrugs. So shrugs, you know, for once I could really feel my traps give out before my grip wanted to, which is good. You know, the shrugs I'm hitting 40 reps now, it's 56 kilos each hand. And again, you know, that's after the pull-ups. So, you know, grip is not fresh and the pull-ups again, they're after the stone squats, you know, so again, you know, grip isn't fresh either way. Um, and then, yeah, these are the, the pull-ups that I was, sorry, not pull-ups, the pull-overs that I was talking about, the the exercise that aggravated my um, elbow. So with this, I'm just playing around with 60 kilos and, you know, prior ages ago, I was able to work up to 70 kilos for, you know, 20 reps. Now that did take me some time to work up to and I was doing it on a separate day. Um, of late I've been putting the overhead press on the Friday versus, you know, in years past the, the heavy dumbbell pullovers though either on a Thursday or a Friday. Um, but as a whole I found the one arm press to be a better builder. This was just something I wanted to put back into the program considering I'm, you know, trying to bring my back squat you know back into the equation so I've been doing a lot more mobility um, work stretching out my chest and shoulders so I can get under the bar because you know I have to be able to you know get under the bar and in a low bar position um, you know if I need to take my you know, if I want to take my comp squat seriously and this was a movement that I used to do it just helped you know got a bit of a stretch in the lats um, lats got stronger hit the triceps hard and there's a fair bit of ab work that's involved you know you wake up the next day and you can really feel your your core's being worked um you know and core plays a massive role on squats so this was you know an assistant exercise that went hand in hand really with the the squat and the bench um but again you know i'm just gonna have to drop the weight back i'll probably end up just dropping it down to 40 kilos knocking out three to four sets of 20 and, you know, letting my body adapt to it as opposed to what's happened at the moment, you know, aggravation. Um, typically in these sessions, I was doing two heavier sets and then two lighter sets, but now I'm just going to, you know, drop everything back to four sets of 20, get quality volume in. If I need to move the position of my elbows, you know, during the reps that I'm going to do so, I'm going to change the movement to suit me, um, even if it's, you know, not textbook form, because at the end of the day, if you've got textbook form, but you're still getting injured or it doesn't feel right, then, you know, it's not really relevant to you. So, you know, with certain exercises, just change it so that it does, you know, what it needs and keeps you, you know, injury free. So um, that's something I'm going to do in the upcoming weeks. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, training again is soon going to change. I'm going to have a lot more time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So the structure of my training program is going to reflect that. Um, and I'll do an update, you know, about that, you know, hopefully tomorrow actually. So I'll, um, list the program that I plan on following as opposed to what I'm doing now. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, hit like, and subscribe.